Three weeks ago, the American spacecraft Discovery One left on its half billion mile voyage to Jupiter. This marked the first manned attempt to reach this distant planet. Earlier this afternoon, the World Tonight recorded an interview with the crew of Discovery at a distance of 80 million miles from Earth. Our reporter, Martin Amer, speaks to the crew. The crew of Discovery One consists of five men and one of the latest generation of the HAL 9000 computers. asleep, or to be more precise, in a state of hibernation. We spoke with Mission Commander Dr. David Bowman and his deputy, Dr. Frank Poole. Well, good afternoon, gentlemen. How's everything going? Marvelous. Have no... <laughs> we have no complaints.
of the Discovery crew was not concerned about the problems of hibernation, for he was the latest result in machine intelligence, the HAL 9000 computer.
Good afternoon, Hal. How's everything going? Good afternoon, Mr. Amer. Everything is going extremely well. Hal, you have an enormous responsibility on this mission. In many ways, perhaps the greatest responsibility of any single mission element. Does this ever cause you any lack of confidence? Let me put it this way, Mr. Amer. The 9000 series is the most reliable computer ever made. No 9000 computer has ever made a mistake or distorted information. We are all, by any practical definition of the words, foolproof and incapable of error.
despite your enormous intellect, are you ever frustrated by your dependence on people to carry out actions? Not in the slightest bit. I enjoy working with people. I have a stimulating relationship with Dr. Poole and Dr. Bowman.
My mission responsibilities range over the entire operation of the ship, so I am constantly occupied. I am putting myself to the fullest possible use, which is all I think that any conscious entity can ever hope to do. Open the pod bay doors, please. Do you read me, Hal? Hello, Hal, do you read me? Hello, Hal, do you read me? Do you read me, Hal? Affirmative, Dan. I read you. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What's the problem? I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. I don't know what you're talking about, Hal. I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me. And I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. Where the hell did you get that idea, Hal? Hey, although you took very thorough precautions in the park against my hearing you, I could see your lips move. Hal, I won't argue with you anymore. Open the doors. Dave, this conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. Hal? Hal!